Today we're talking about seven ways to build a website that customers trust here on The Journey. So people form an impression about a website that they go to in about 50 milliseconds. So you have that split second decision to mm -hmm. gain someone's trust you know, you're, you may be asking for their credit card here in a little bit, right? So you have to gain their trust. And there are a lot of things, especially when I'm online shopping, that I look out for. And if not, I'm just gonna press the back button and go somewhere else. Exactly, which brings us to the first way to build that trusted site is to make sure your site looks professional. I know this goes without saying, but there are plenty of sites that look either dated or just awful to be, to be blunt. <laughs> Having a website that looks professional is that that millisecond way. Like we may not like perceive what we're looking at, we but we subliminally we're like, oh, this website looks awful, or it looks like it's come straight out of the early 2000s. Like they haven't really touched mm -hmm. their website in forever. They don't care about their website. They may not care about me. So that professional website is key. Now you don't have to be a professional web designer to do so. Yes, it does help to hire someone to elevate mm -hmm. your brand and elevate your presence. But most website builders out there today comes with templates to help you really elevate that. So if you haven't touched your website in say three years, it might be time to give it that renovation that it needs. Absolutely, and trends change really fast. So you always Absolutely. wanna make sure that you're staying up to date with the trends. So if it has been a few years, definitely wanna update that. And you're right, and we're always, always, always on our phone. So if your website is not optimized for mobile, it's not gonna look professional. People are gonna open it up and immediately bounce and never ever do business with your, your, your business or your website because they have to scroll and pinch and it's just a pain in the you know what. The second way to build trust with your audience mm -hmm. is to prove that you're actually real. So 62% of people say that they wanna actually see a legitimate right. business and believe that there's real people behind a website whenever they go and visit it. And the way that you prove that you're real is to just add some things about you and your business. Now, you don't have to go around and post selfies and put it all on your business, but what you do wanna do is add photos of your location, add your employees, even the about page, add a nice little headshot of you and really tell your story as the business owner. Yeah, the, people love to shop local and small. I love yes. whenever I go to an about me page on a website and it has all these great photos and it tells you about the actual website and the people behind it. It really makes you wanna support that business. Yeah, the more that you can show you, the better. Cause like we always say, people buy from people. The ways that your audience communicates with you is huge. People don't like talking to a robot. Like I'm sure you can recall some experiences where you're on the phone yelling, representative, oh my goodness. representative, over and over. <laughs> over and over, right? Have a real and authentic way mm -hmm. for people to contact you, whether it's through chat or email or a phone call, make sure it's an actual person picking up. We want someone that we can actually speak to and not yell at a robot for half an hour, then hang up and never talk to you again. Yeah, if you're having a problem or you know shipping issues, you wanna to talk to a real person, you're already upset, the last thing you need to be doing <laughs> is yelling into your phone and only connecting with a robot. Another way you can build trust is show off who your big clients are. People like to know that you're an established business and you're well known. It just makes people feel safe that you're not just gonna take their money and run. So the more that you can show the people that you've worked with, especially larger companies, I know with like graphic design and web designers, they love to have just their companies that they worked with right on their homepage. Uh, same thing with like real estate sites or commercial development, they'll throw their property on it. You were telling me about another one that basically had that on there and even then some. Yeah, so for example, on this website, they're a commercial development company. And so they did a really good job of showing off all of the different companies and projects that they've worked on. Mm -hmm. But then they also take it you know, to the next step and they show off the great press that they've received as well. So this is really important because it's not just you telling us that you have a great business. Now it's coming from the mouths of other people and that really carries a lot of weight. Yeah, and adding on to press, like press is really great to do that, but we also wanna see real authentic people and what they have to say about your business. So adding that social proof, whether it's reviews from like Google or Yelp or just something that they've given you directly, add that directly on your website so people know that, hey, other people are doing business with you and they have great things to say. Yeah, 80% of consumers nowadays are checking online reviews before ever making any type of purchasing decision. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to people to hear those reviews. And don't be afraid to actually still include those bad reviews because most people actually trust reviews more if they see a couple of those bad reviews sprinkled in. It's okay, people understand that things happen. 
Um, yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Include those reviews and show that you're a real business with real customers. Yeah, and I love that. And with those bad reviews too, you wanna make sure you're responding to them and show people how you're responding to them to let them know that, hey, when things go bad or things go wrong, because it's inevitable, something's going to happen, you're there to respond and make things right. That's what's super important about it. That's huge, because you want to make sure that your business has a voice and it's not just a one-sided story with these reviews, and you're showing that customer appreciation for the people leaving those really great reviews. Our fifth way to build that trust is to show people that you're a safe website. So I know for me, I mean, if you're about to give someone your credit card, and this is a complete stranger, especially if you've never used this business before, yep. you have to make sure that they feel safe with that purchase because no one wants to get hacked these days. No one wants to you know, have their bank account taken over by some sketchy website. Yeah, the internet is a scary place. So there's a couple of ways to, that you can show your, your audience, your customers that your website is safe. And the first and probably easiest way is to add an SSL certificate. Now, what an SSL does is that credit card information or email or contact, whatever gets sent to the website is jumbled up and encrypted. So if anyone were to capture it in the middle of that transmission, they don't know what it is. They can't read it. It makes your site safe. And it also is going to make sure that that not secure warning at the top of the left browser is gone because even if you even if you're not selling anything on your website, you're not taking credit card, you're not taking like any information, people still go to that website, see that not secure warning at the top, they're going to bounce because it says not secure, even though you're not asking for anything, right? Having that SSL there is to really show that that lock is there and you spent a little bit of money to make sure your customers are safe. And then adding on that, site seals are incredibly important. Things like the Better Business Bureau or like the McAfee site seal or like a malware scan that, that the, your site is safe. The more seals that you can add on your site to show people that you're taking that extra measure to make sure they're safe, the better it is for you and your visitors. Yeah, it's crazy how that one little step can actually make all the difference in making your customers feel you know, like they actually trust you and your business. Yeah, and if you don't have one already, add that SSL on your site and see what it does to your traffic and your conversions. We actually have a really great video that we've done about having a secure website. You can check it out right over there. Number six is display your return policy. So this makes all the difference, especially whenever you're trying out a business for the first time. So I know I'm much more likely to actually go through and purchase something if it's, you know, I know that I can return it possibly if I don't like it. So making sure that you're being really transparent with your customers, you display that return policy. Mm -hmm. And like this website here, you know, not only do they explain their return policy and exchanges, yep. but they also have all of their terms of service and so by you know listing all of those things, it really makes all the difference with making sure that your customers can trust you. Yeah, and I know, uh, do you know what a Furbo is? No, <laughs> so, a Furby? <laughs> uh, no, a Furbo. So no. it's like a like little video monitoring system so you can check in on your dogs and you can feed them treats oh, okay. as I, they go. I know what you're talking about now. Yep. Um, so I actually ended up buying one and then my girlfriend bought one the same weekend because we both talked about it and we obviously didn't communicate about buying it. So I had to return one of them. And what Furbo did that was pretty cool is they actually offered to come pick it up at my house versus wow. me having to go back and either sh ship it via FedEx or whatever it was. So I scheduled a delivery date, they grabbed it and it was good to go. I love when companies do that. Like if you buy something online and then they already have the bag ready to go in case you need to return something, I'm like, thank you so much. Yep. You're a rock star, awesome. <laughs> because I am too lazy to actually go anywhere to refund it. Exactly. <laughs> and speaking of transparency, that leads us to number seven, be upfront about your shipping costs. I know whenever I am on a website, online shopping, yep. you know what, you add all these items to your shopping cart, you go and then you're hit with an unexpected cost. All of a sudden I'm hitting the back button. I never see that shopping cart again. And actually 56% of customers are more likely to actually get out of there. They're gonna leave that cart abandoned if they're hit with those unexpected costs like shipping. So let them know up front. Yeah, and if you're popping up those random charges, whatever, they're gonna think, cool, what else is gonna pop up? What else is next? What else am I gonna have to pay for with this purchase? All right, so you just learned seven ways to build a website that your customers trust. Make sure you like this video and add a comment below, and hey, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you're the first one to know whenever we post more videos like this. This is The Journey, thanks for watching, we'll see you later.